but apparently he did take me seriously e Vita, he is here right in front of me. Yes, with that stupid little dog too. Well he is listening now to our conversation. Well actually, yes it is rather awkward. Okay Evita you are right I am being incredibly rude, again it would seem. I am not well. I will have to call you back. G Igor the new apartment is fantastic. And when did you start wearing a hairpiece? You look fantastic in that wig. Wow, this place is really great, really really great. I'm totally excited about starting my new life, thanks so much for everything. Never say thank you. Igor dislikes the word. But listen Hal, there may be a slight problem. What do you mean? Hold on Hal. Hey. Oh he ma locker, oh he re ma locker. Pame spitty moo. Nay an a kilogramma. Okay okay. That was my dealer, I am completely out of balfo. Anyway as you well know, the stock market has been very unpredictable lately. A very nervous market. Yes, I read the Wall Street Journal on the airplane. What has that got to do with anything anyway? Well, I am wiped out. Completely wiped out. Don't worry Igor. We will figure something out. By the way, I love your new paintings, they are amazing. Thank you. But anyhow, as I was saying, we can work as maids or dog walkers, I will help you get back on your feet and you can help me get back on mine. Don't give me your bullshit Hal, I do not have the appetite now. I am depressed. And anyway, I do not think you understand what I am trying to tell you. Tell me. Fuck you Hal, you you fat American asshole. I will tell you when I am ready. Listen Igor, whatever it is we can handle it. You are my best friend and I will always stand with you against any obstacles. Friends, friends. Do you really believe all this bullshit about friendship and love? You are even a bigger asshole than I already thought. You are a fool Hal, you are a fool. Friendship is a noble relationship, it is a sacred covenant and yes, I do believe in it, and I believe in love, I love you Igor, if that brands me a fool for all eternity then so be it, I will proudly play the fool till the day I die. I had to rent your room out to cover my debts. You cannot stay here. Igor, I have flown halfway around the world to get here. I have given up my life in America, I have nothing. You promised that me and Homer could come stay with you. You promised us a home, a loving, stable environment where we could flourish. You promised. And that stupid wig and glasses makes you look ridiculous. But you did promise, you promised Igor. Fuck you Hal, don't try to make me feel guilty, I do not accept guilt. Anyway, Igor does not remember any such promise. Oh my god, I can't believe this Igor. Are you serious? Listen Hal, I have already put your bags back out in the hallway. You will have to find another place to stay. There are taxis on the corner. Where can I fucking go Igor? I have nowhere to go. 100 euro an ounce, shit this barfo is expensive. Okay okay. 97, 98, 99, 100. Okay thank you Panos. Listen Hal, that's not my problem my friend. Your suitcase is next to the elevator. Oh and don't forget you dog. Stop dancing and sit down, you insane Greek fuck. But oh, listen. Most apartments in Athens will not accept your dog. Greeks do not like animals in the house. Well I'm not going anywhere without Homer. Where he goes, I go and where I go, he goes. Fine, have it your way. Now pick up that bloody mess of bones and fur and get out.
Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, <laughs> Igor you asshole, you just shot Homer, what is your fucking problem, you are out of your mind, you are a total freak. <laughs> Damn it. I am running out of money, 100 euro an ounce, shit. That Caroline smoked all of my pot. She never contributes, she is Jew. A real Jew. <laughs> so what were we talking about anyway? Fuck you. Goodbye, Hal. I need a whiskey. And oh my god, let us be honest for once, Hal. If you want bullshit, go talk to someone else, but Igor will always tell you the truth. Your hair looks fake, there I have said it. It had to be said, Hal, forgive me. You are the joke of all Athens, you look like three big scoops of vanilla ice cream with chocolate sauce poured on top. No really, go take a look in the mirror sometime. It would look better if you just wore that dead dog on your head. <laughs> Get out of my house. Get out of my house immediately. Fuck you Igor, you tired old faggot, you probably just want some privacy, because you are taking it up the ass from Grego's. I bet you grease up your ass, and he just slides it right into your flabby slack puckered rectum with that big judic of his. Hey thanks everyone, you've been a great audience. We had a lot of fun filming this episode. And we will be back with more hijinks and shenanigans next week. We have poked fun at a lot of topics this evening. That's right Igor, we have laughed at a lot of things tonight, but even though we make joke about it, drugs are no laughing matter. Remember my friends, they call drugs dope for a reason. Good night everyone, we will see you next week. Good night my friends. God bless you all.